What's going on you guys, Clinger? Welcome back to the channel, CoCommerce, and welcome back to this tutorial. It's the Material UI tutorial going over from start to finish. So in this video, we're gonna be looking over the text field component that Material UI has to offer inside of React. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and use this component here. So go ahead and open up our sidebar. So let's go ahead and create a new file here, and this is gonna be text, we'll call it text field uh, example.jsx, just like that. RFCE is gonna get us our functional component here, okay? So next we wanna go into our app.js, we'll close that, and let's just comment this one out. You guys, if this is the first uh, tutorial watching, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go back to the first video, I'll put a link to it down in the description below. And in that video, I show you how to step-by-step -step install Material UI. Um, nothing to be intimidated about, it's super easy, super quick. It takes about 30 seconds, literally, and you're up and running with Material UI, okay? So next, let's go ahead and have a look. So our text field example, npm run dev, we'll start our server. We're using vite.js for this, okay? So there you have it, we see our text field example component, okay? So next, let's go in here and look at our, uh, some of the things that we have to offer here. So this is a basic text field. Let's go ahead and we'll look at the code here, okay? So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna grab this box you know we don't even need the box let's just grab these text fields just like that you know what? we'll just grab the whole box as well let's just grab that and we'll paste it in there like so so we're going to need to import a few things so this box was a layout component we haven't got to yet that's fine just go ahead and import that so import that and then we also this text field we want to import that as well so from app material ui actually that's not the right one let's see that's ah, there we go yeah perfect there we go so look at that so right out of the box this is already styled for us this is why so many developers love using material ui it's just so quick and easy to use um literally a copy and a paste and you have something as beautiful as this on the page so that's pretty cool you guys uh, lots of cool things you can do with material ui uh, and again this is javascript if you want to copy over if you're using a typescript for example you can do that as well uh, it doesn't look like there's really any uh, differences there but yeah so uh look at look we have some form properties that we can use it's pretty cool we have some helper text um let's scroll down default values we can add in pretty nice some form validation on the client side so that's kind of cool here let's have a look at some of this let's just look at the code see everything you have to add in there not bad so let's see if we can grab let's see this div on top label error default value so all it is it looks like it's just an error so we can just say error just like that and by default should give this red just like that so this is something you can toggle uh, with like a use effect hook or something like that uh, let's see you can change the default values here and again the 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 different values you see here i'm gonna go ahead and remove this error so it looks a bit nicer um, so the label the variant here outline filled so if you wanted this to look like the outlined one you just change the variant um, and that's kind of how it works so you can see it changed this one here because it just says filled there so you can change this back to filled um, it's just kind of personal preference which one they all work the same uh, it's just a personal preference uh, based on um, visual effects there so how, how it looks to you really um, so pretty cool let's see multi-line here oh yeah that's kind of cool so this multi-line let's have a look at that one if you want to add like more of like a, a text area or something like that so it's a text field where do you have that one imported so let's look at this one it looks like it's the third one so box text field text field so it's just this multi-line property there so let's just say let's say multi-line on the first one let's see if that'll do it there so if we enter yeah that's pretty cool there so it's a multi-line property allows you to write on multiple lines that's kind of cool um so you can also have a rows property there as well so we'll say rows um just say something like that five by default refresh so you can see kind of takes up the amount of rows that you uh that you specify so two um so as many as you want really so it's pretty cool there you can add like more of like a paragraph in there so it's kind of cool um and you guys all of this right out of the box material ui so awesome um looks like we have a drop down here select that's kind of cool so let's see here let's go ahead and have a look at that so let's see it looks like some currencies i'm gonna go over and copy this over here so we'll just paste this in here paste in our currencies there we go um let's see what else we're gonna need here we don't need all of these let's just take this first text field we'll take this first one right there on top so we'll just grab this right there so let's go in here 
and I'm just gonna paste it right there. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Probably gonna need to import a couple things, so menu item is not defined. So it looks like that is just a uh, material UI component here. So let's import that, maybe that's it. Cool, refresh, there go all the errors. So look at that, that was pretty cool. Just a copy and paste, uh, please select your currency. It looks like it has a little label here. Um, this way, select your name, you can say, please select your name if you had uh, name values in there. So that's kind of cool. Um, right now, these are the labels. So the value, USD, label. Um, so each one of these has a unique value and you can change the value if you want to say, um, if you can change this whole thing to names, I don't want to do that. But that's kind of cool right there. We'll just go ahead and change that back to uh, back to currency. Yeah, cool. So if you want to hook this up to a database, you use a fact hook. Right now, it's just some local uh, state, just an array of objects. So again, if you want to hook that up to a database, that's pretty cool how you could access uh, a simple drop down like that. Uh, everything styled for you. So pretty nice there. Um, this is kind of cool. It has some icons in here. Uh, ooh, like a password effect. Ooh, let's do this password one. That's pretty cool. Um, Oh, that's kind of cool too. Let's do these ones, the input adornments, okay? So let's have a look there. Um, let's have a look at the code. So this first one, weight in kilograms. <laughs> I'm in from the US, we're doing pounds here, but yeah, that's all right. Uh, so it looks like, how much do we need here? So form control, let's see, normal weight. Let's have a look here this text field. I'm just gonna grab this one here and see what that does. So I'm gonna paste this inside of our box. Let me get rid of all that. Let's go ahead and paste and see. Probably get some errors there. Probably need to import a few things. So input adornment, let's go ahead and import that one. Save, what else we got here? Is that it? Cool, look at that. So look at that, kilograms just like that kind of enter some stuff in there. You might want to change this to only accept numbers. You can put a requirement in there. So that's kind of cool. Um, see, let's do the password one. Let's do the password. Where's the password at? Form control for amount. Here's the password. Outlined input. Form control. Let's grab this form control just like that. We'll copy that. And we'll paste that inside of... Let's see if we want to delete that. It's bugging me. So we'll just go right below. We'll just paste that in there. See how that looks. Uh, form control. Let's import this. What else do we need? Input label. There we go. Let's see the outlined input. Do we need anything else? Uh, show password is not defined. So it looks like that is just some state in there. So let's go ahead and see. We'll just copy their state they have. So we'll copy that over and let's just paste that in here somewhere. Um, let's get all their, all their logic in there. We'll paste that, save. Let's see how that works. Icon button. So icon button, let's grab that one. Import this. What all do we need here? Visibility is not defined, so visibility. Let's go and grab visibility and visibility off. Go and paste that in there. Let's see what else we got. Ah, cool, there we go. So look at that. Um, let's go ahead and type the secret password. Can you guess what I typed in here? Look at that. Ah, there we go. So pretty cool there, you guys. That's awesome right there. Password, one, two, three. So there you have it, you guys. This is the text field example. You can do passwords, all sorts of icons, buttons included. Hope you liked the video. Next up, we're gonna be going over the toggle button example. So thanks for watching, smash the like button. I'll see you on the next one.